Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palitska International, nail artist and educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful autumn design, a little bit uh, different. Uh, we are going to paint some mushrooms, you can have a wee preview of it in here. So reds, oranges, something which is totally autumn fall theme and I hope you really enjoy it. Let's start! I show it at the different angles and we can start painting the set. So for our main color we are going to use 151 which I feel like is really nice autumn color and that's what we are going to do on the snail here. And then cook it. On our mixing palette I'm going to squeeze this color out. We are also going to use some red which is 162. We are going to do some green. So I'll just mix a tiny bit of blue and a yellow. And we will use those uh, watercolor painting brush from New Perfect. So that's a slightly larger brush and do the design on those uh, two nails. So I'm going to start painting some leaves in here. Mainly yellow and orange. And I find it, the way I'm painting it with those uh, kind of almost a star shape is the easiest paint to take, to easiest way to paint those type of leaves. And I find it much, much quicker. And then we are going to paint the mushroom there. So let's quickly freeze this one and start painting the mushroom here. So I have picked up the red Give it a bit of wave And then another kind of wave here on the bottom. And then color it in. Now, so now once I know the shape I can improve it. And then do the part which is showing a little bit of the bottom of the mushroom. Then give it a cure. Clean my brush and when my nails are curing I'm mixing my green. So I've got my green mixed and I can do a couple of the wavy parts which will look like a grass. Okay, then take the D-liner brush 
So that's the detail brush. And now work with the detail, much thinner lines. And I'm trying to pick up now a slightly different shade of the color I have uh, picked up. So it has some blue in it as well. Maybe a little bit of yellow on the other side. So this way we can create a, a nicer looking grass like. So it's not just like a flat one color. Clean my brush and do some veins inside the leaf. And then give it a cure. Okay, same here on the bottom. We are going to paint some grass. Actually, maybe from the top as well. So nice and wavy. Then my mushroom. The leg is going to be here, so here I can paint another part of the grass. And then give it a flash cure. We can apply the second layer of this color. And here. and give it a cure. We're definitely missing something orange in here, so I'm just going to add a drop of the orange, mix with the red, to paint a half a leaf here. Just so everything goes together. So we've got another beautiful leaf. On the mushroom, we need to start working with the detail. So I'm going to grab some upvoted white. But because the tip is white, I don't want it to be a clear white. So I'm putting a drop of the black. Actually, I need two for later as well. And that's 183. And then mix my white with those black to kind of create those gray color. And now color it inside the mushroom. Again, I'm trying to pick up different uh, shades of what so it's not like um, everywhere the same and here i'm going to have the leg of the mushroom so slightly darker on the bottom And that's the first layer complete. Give it a flash cure. And add another leaf. Thank you. 
Now we can start working on the leg. So using the D-liner brush and the black color, mix with a drop of uh, white, just so it's not too strong. I'm outlining the bottom. of the mushroom. And the top. Okay, leave your empty space. And then do couple dots on the bottom. Usually I try to don't use the brush for doing the dots because it might break the fine tip. So I really don't want to press it right with the tip. Red mixed with black just to add the vein and then this tip is going to be completely ready. I can go back on this one and we can add more detail. So I'm going to use the top coat for this time uh, for this part because we want some shadows as well. I have put the drop of the top coat into my mixing palette. So top coat mix with black and then paint the leg which is starting kind of inside there. So indicate this part and now give it shadow to it. And the best way to create the shadow is using the top coat mixed with the color. I'm going to add some shadow here as well. And in the corner. Give it a flash cure. This one is ready so I'm just applying the top coat could actually outline it with the black as well. Pure black. and outline it. And then give it a flash cure. Top coat the color tip. And 
and start adding the white detail in here as well after doing the outline. I have added a drop of the red into uh, into the black just so it's not too strong. Then pick up the white and I'm going to use the paint on French gel for that and the dotting tool and do a couple dots. So I want some of them to be pretty decent size. And then some of them very, very tiny. So for tiny lines, I'm going to use the old brush because I don't want to uh, break my good brush. Okay, so never use your um, best brushes for doing the dots because the tip will get broken. So a couple small ones. And then give it a flash cure. I'm also going to grab some uh, white as well to highlight some parts as well. So almost nothing on the brush. Like really nothing. And now we are going to highlight some places. So especially this part because it's more on the top. My dog just came in. <laughs> and then soften it using the top coat. Okay, so this way this place is much lighter and it's more visible. Give it a cure. OK, 
Okay, so after the flash cure, just finish with the last detail. So I'm just going to add some low light on some of the dots. Not all of them, just some. Add a few different colors where the grass is. And outline it a little bit as well. Again, not too strong almost like in some places. And then give it a cure and we can apply the top coat. Now this one is ready. So I can just put it to the collection. So does this one. Quickly top coat over that one. We should actually paint some leaf here as well. And then I can show you the full set. Just add a little bit of redness, flash cure it. Actually, the tip of my brush is broken. I can see it now on the white, so this is very not good. I should straighten it, and the best way to straighten it is to actually it does. Just to flat it really, really well. Let's see if it works. It's just there. So I have to, I should work my brush against the breakage part like and keep rolling it until it got straightened a little bit. And it, I can see it is still twisted, but it's slightly better. So if the things like that happen, you can see it's almost invisible, but it's affecting the thickness of, of your lines. And um, I actually had Olivia playing with some designs, so like, to me, this is a little bit heavy outline it, and the reason for it would be the tip of the brush, um, which got a little bit bended compared to the previous tip we was painting, which has much, uh, much uh, softer lines. Okay, but anyway, I applied the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel into that set, and then I can show you the final look. So I definitely need to Train up the brush again to get those nice and fine point. Cook it in. You could also use a very, very hot water and put it over your brush and try to reshape it into the correct shape. Uh, no, it's still there.
So I'll probably need to paint it a um, couple of times using those uh, broken chip until it's fixed. It's a shame when such a thing like that happen, and it could be even of painting the dots, like when I was painting the dots, that's uh, that would be enough to, to damage the tip of the brush, and then you cannot really almost see it, but it is affecting the quality of the painting, definitely. Okay, slap this tip in here, and that's our green mushroom set of the nails. I hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Sending you glittery hats and bye for